Hello and welcome to the Tigre Pup channel. In this video I'll be doing a review and face watch of NYX SFX Color Cream Palette in Metal. If this interests you then please keep watching. Okay, right here I'm just showing you what um, the depiction of this palette looks like on the actual website. So you can check that out, that out here. Also, uh, I wanted to show you the purchase price for um, this uh, item, which is $12. Okay, right here I'm just showing you the description and its claims for use on this product and how to apply. Okay, so right here we're going into the reviews. We have one star here. Uh, this person bought this at Ulta. They tried to black and it was very difficult to, th to get off. So it ended up throwing the whole palette away. Okay, this person gave it three stars. They were happy with the pigmentation of the actual palette. However, they uh, found it confusing as far as like the colors you can and cannot use around the eyes or the mouth. Also, the red color stain like crazy and uh, you need to be careful with that. This person here also gave it three stars. However, they weren't happy with uh, the labeling in the back and uh, it was inaccurate and it wasn't able, they weren't able to find out which colors they could and couldn't use around the eyes or mouth and they ended up having a allergic reaction. Okay, so right here it's showing that I'm got an order confirmation on December the 29th however uh, my order was shipped on November the 2nd which is impossible anyway I received my order on January the 3rd as you can see here so basically I got my confirmation and I got my order delivered in six days time Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the product actually looks like and as you can see on the back here it has a, a little bit of labeling. Basically it's telling you not to use it on your eyes or your lips. Certain colors aren't um, a lot, aren't recommended for that usage. Right here I'm just showing you that you have two years to use this product. Okay, so here's what my packaging looked like uh, once it arrived. I have a number of different items and we're going to go over that in a second. Okay, so right here I'm just unboxing my packaging um, and we're going to take a look and see what's going on inside. Inside. All right. Okay, so here are my items here. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is that I got my Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I got the big bottle, as you can see here. Up next, I got a lip, lip lingerie lipstick, uh, as you can see here. Okay, so here is the NYX SFX Cream Color Palette in primary uh, we're not talking about this one I do have a video you can check that out in my playlist that I'm going to try to put in my description so keep an eye out for that and I have what we're going to talk about today in the, in this video is the NYX SFX cream color in metal
Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the colors actually look like in the palette. Uh, not on the website that's been dolled up in order to look better, but uh, yeah. Okay, so our first color is, uh, that we're going to go in with is the orange. Uh, but this is a special type of orange I'm noticing that's like glitter flakes in it or something. It's giving like, um, I wouldn't even say a natural, but an unnatural shiny look um, yeah okay so right here I'm applying with a brush and I'm getting uh, streak marks and everything and it's not really giving much coverage as you can see here and so uh, in a minute you're gonna see me switch over to my uh, disposable cosmetic wedge to get more coverage uh, as you can see with my brush it's it's giving sheer coverage so um yeah so this is the point when I, I realized that I should probably use the sponge as opposed to the brush so um yeah Okay, so now we're going in with our cosmetic sponge. You can see the difference between the brush and the sponge. I'm clearly getting a lot more pigmentation. I'm looking a lot more orangey as opposed to like my complexion mixed into mingled with the, the orange. Um, so yeah, that's what you see me doing here. Okay, as you can see, I'm attempting to build the the pigmentation and it's coming off splotchy. I'm working as best as I can, but it's still giving me a very sheer um, coverage and not as opaque as I would like. Because uh, if I want to be a pumpkin, I mean, yeah, that wouldn't work too well. But um, yeah, I'm just working that color through. Uh, I think I'm finished on that side. I'm going in with the purple next, as you can see here. Okay, so as I'm applying this product, I think this would probably be uh, a pretty good uh, topper. Of, like you would use a regular base color and, and powder it. And you could probably use this on the top. Maybe that's how this is supposed to work. I'm not exactly sure. sure, But I mean, it's not giving me very much coverage. And um, like I said, it has like glittery stuff in it. And um, yeah, just see me work it out. And let's see, you know, what we come up with in the end. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the indentation I made just from those uh, that one application, um, as you can see here. So that was a little concerning. But here is the completed pro pro project. Uh, as you can see, I did it with the orange here. It's supposed to be metal. I don't know of a metal that's orange or purple, but um, yeah, maybe they, they have the, the glitter flakes. It's supposed to be like a metal tone. I don't know. It's giving like a glossy finish, and it's very sheer, as you can see here.
Okay, so our next color is like a light blue, as you can see here. And I'm going to pat that out the same way I did the first two colors. And we're going to see what the end result will be at the end of this application. Okay, so now that I'm looking at this color in playback, I actually like this color the best of all. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move in with the next color. I believe it's red. Uh, so we'll check that out and see what we get with that. Okay, so now that we're working in the red, um, it's pretty much like all these colors. They're pretty sheer. I can see my um, complexion peeking through. Um, it has like a glittery base to it. Um, even though the product itself is not glossy, it gives the appearance of gloss because of the glitter. Okay, so right here I'm showing you the comparison between the two colors side by side. So I'm giving you a glimpse of each side and the middle in between. So you can take a look and see what's going on and what you think about the colors. Okay, here is the blue or the light blue. You can see what it did to my eyebrows. Uh, so that's something that could work for a look, you know. So here is the red. Um, it's nice. Okay, so up next we're going in with the pink uh, as you can see here and uh, we're going to tap that out and see what this looks like in the very end.
again we can see that it's pretty sheer uh, it has like that glittery base and um, yeah we're just going to work that out and see if we can get as much coverage as we possibly can so we can get it nice and opaque so you can see what color you're getting when you make the purchase Okay, so now we're going in with the green. It's the same type of formula. It has that um, sheer base, I guess. Um, and it has like glittery glitter in it. Um, but actually, I, I kind of like this color. You know, it kind of looks like king cake uh, glitter. Uh, just my opinion. Um, but yeah, um, not getting um, very much coverage. Uh, it's kind of splotchy. Um, but yeah, we're just, uh, you know, testing this stuff out and see how um, it works. Uh, I'll have to try to figure out what I can do with this uh, particular palette. Uh, I have no idea other than to use it as a highlight on top of um, the, other color, the other colors in the other palettes that are more opaque, if that makes any sense. Maybe this can be used for like, you know, design work or or something like that I don't know but for to use it as just like a base I don't think that would work very well because like I said you can see uh, my complexion coming through and I'm pretty sure you probably see your complexion coming through okay so now that we're applying the green actually I kind of like the green it's um, it's giving like a lizard or some kind of reptilian um, vibe I don't know I like it so, I mean, all of these colors, they're pretty much giving the same type of uh, texture or effect or whatever. Uh, it's very sheer coverage and whatnot. Um, I just got to figure out what I'm going to use it for. But uh, other than that, um, at least we get a view of what these colors can do. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you how easily you can put a dent into uh, those colors. Um, it doesn't take much, so um, I just thought that was pretty interesting. So right here I'm just showing you the difference between the pink and the green uh, in one part. And up next I'm going to show you what it looks like with the pink uh, by itself. As you can see here. It's an unusual color, but um, I don't know. Okay, up next is our green. The green is not too bad. I like it. As you can see, all these colors are pretty patchy, um, but yeah. Okay, so I decided to include removal tips, as you can see here. Uh, I got these tiles from Walmart and they're like five uh, ninety eight about six dollars and um, I personally prefer the white but you can use whatever color you want I like to see the stuff coming off my face that's why uh, what you do is you get you some oil doesn't matter what type of oil you get uh, you're gonna use a few drops of oil in the palm of your head massage it thoroughly this is the oil I chose again it doesn't matter you're gonna massage it into your skin in order to try to break up that foundation uh, face and body paint whatever you want to call it and then you're going to take a nice warm moist towel and you use that to wipe your face and as opposed to using your own personal towels that might be really nice and whatnot and ruining those you can use these and if you do this three times in my my experience you can get like most of the the color off of your face um as you can see here Okay, so up next, I'm going in with my Neutrogena uh, Makeup Removal Wipes. And I'm just doing this for demonstration. I would probably use this at the last time, you know, to get just the remainder that's left off. But just showing you um, an example here. Uh, same thing, you massage your, your face with the oil. Then you go back in with the Neutrogena Wipe and get off the excess. Um, I had tried doing this, like, for one application. And it took... Um, like five times and I still didn't get all the the stuff off my skin and so um 
the, the warm towel really works i suggest you just give it a try and see if you like it if you don't don't do it then you know so uh just my little tip to help you out uh, i have acne prone skin and i break out pretty easily so i have to make sure i cleanse my cleanse my face very thoroughly in order for me not to break out so uh, i just wanted to share that tip with you so uh maybe you can have a better experience just showing you what the towel looks like after that and showing you what it looks like after that so um yeah Okay, so in my final opinion, I really like the green and that light blue. That was really nice colors. I'm not really sure about the words because they all performed pretty much the same. They were very patchy and, and not as opaque as I would have liked. Uh, but that's my opinion. You can let me know in the comment section down below what your opinion is, was also I want to remind you that you have to be careful when using this palette because certain colors are to be used on the eyes or the mouth so you just be careful about that me personally I wouldn't use any of these colors around my eyes and mouth but um, you know they got some people that um, gonna read the instructions but I gave you uh, the example uh, with the reviews where the person used it and it was caused them to have an allergic reaction just be careful is all I'm saying don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and as always thanks for watching